what's going on, crew? Everybody see me? Everybody hear me? Let me know. Getting a little mic check. Everything going here. How we looking? We good? We rocking and rolling? There it is. What's up, Chuck? What's up, Chuck? What's up, Pamela and Kay and Andrew and Sharon and Valerie and Joanne and Blackbird and Tanya and Sharon and Kim and Janessa and Pamela, Patty, Tammy, Kelly, Leslie, Heather. What's going on, everybody? So, we got ourselves a challenge tonight, okay? We got ourselves a challenge tonight, and... Here's the challenge we got going on tonight. The challenge is Facebook, Instagram, issues all day long, right? How many of you have had issues with Facebook and Instagram all day? Not good, right? Well, it's going to make it a lot harder. It's going to make it a lot harder to get people in here tonight, okay? So... They're kind of up a little bit. YouTube's fine, okay? So hopefully, hopefully we can get some people. I'm going to try and see if I can't hop on, see if Instagram lets me on. Inst Instagram's not letting me on either. So it's going to be a difficult. Oh, now it's saying we're having trouble starting your live video. Okay, I'm going to see if Instagram lets me go here. If not... We got some work to do tonight, okay? Still can't log. So, if if we still can't log in to Facebook. No, nope, Instagram won't let me go live. Either. So, I can't even give you help tonight. This is going to be a tough one. I don't know how you're going to share it with all of your groups. We got 125 right now. But, did any of you guys see the changes that I made for tonight's live. So, I made a couple changes late just to benefit everybody. I want to try it out one week. Figure why not this week, right? So, who knows the changes in the edits that I made for the giveaway tonight? Did anybody see it? Who saw it? We are live right now. Yep. Make, yes, everybody, make sure you hit the like button. So, the changes that I made, okay, and I know some of you aren't able to get on Facebook, but they're pretty sweet, okay? So, let me get you over to the page here, and I will show you the changes we made. So, it's kind of cool because you guys know I'm not much of a everybody's a winner type thing, but... If you guys can get people in here for the training with Facebook and Instagram having issues, check this out, okay? Let me pull it up here real quick. If it's even going to let me pull Facebook up, it's really slow, but it is letting me pull it up, which is a good thing. And if we are still having issues we'll, and we do get to the number, then we might just have to pull the uh, winner from the live attendees here, okay? So, let me swap cameras here and check this out. So, the new thing that I added, the new thing that I added is right here. If we get 300 people here tonight, okay, we're at 150, we're halfway there already. We're going to give away another mini pack, which is great, but then a lot of you missed the magic flock deal that I did with the extra fonts a couple weeks ago. So I've gotten a bunch of emails and questions. Can we do something with Magic Flock again? I've never done this before. So check it out. If we get 300 live attendees, if you buy a roll of Magic Flock, you're going to get a free 25 gross of Crystal SS10 rhinestones. That's $15.20 on the website. If we get 400 people here live, you get a free 50 gross of SS10 crystal rhinestones. That's a $23.80 value. If we get 500 people here live tonight, 
then you get a free 100 gross, which is $41.95. That's getting close to the price of the roll of Magic Flock, $65. So basically, if you were to buy a... And the thing is, is Magic Flock, you can have a second roll. It's not going to go bad. Crystal Rhinestones, you're always going to use those. So, this is... This was my motivation with Facebook and Instagram down tonight to try to have you guys, hey, figure out a way, figure out a way to make it happen tonight because it'll benefit all of you. So when we do this sale, and you'll see it right up here, okay, 400 live attendees is the cameo giveaway, but 300 live attendees is a 25 gross of crystal SS10 stones with the purchase of Magic Flock. And it's only today and tomorrow. Okay? And then that goes away. But, to even get the littlest, the 25 gross, we need to hit 300 lot. So, that's a pretty sweet deal, isn't it? A lot of you guys have been with us for a long time. You've never seen anything like that. We've never done it before. I like to try different and unique things every once in a while. And when you guys go and you get people here, then I want to reward you for it as well. So, now I want to show you the different things that we got going on tonight. So, on the website, we are going to do a decal training tonight, okay, for vinyl car decals. You always hear me talk about the vinyl car decals. Still got the $150 free shipping. The Atlantic City free class coming up on March 21st. You'll see that if you click right here. If you're going to Atlantic City, make sure to register for the free class. And we do have a special going on right now on the website. Those of you who haven't seen this yet, is have does anybody know what this special is? Have you seen this? This special right here is our Quick Spark special for financing. So say you want to finance a Graftech vinyl cutter or a heat press or any type of equipment or package over $1,000, all right? You will, right now through March 18th, I'll click on it so you can see the deals. If you spend $1,000 to $1,999, you get a free artwork pack of choice. 2,000 to 4,000, you get two artwork packs. 4,000 and up, you get three free artwork packs. So just to give you an example, if you got a graft, if you're looking in the market for a graph tech vinyl cutter, and that's 1795, that qualifies you for a free artwork pack and free shipping. You won't find a better deal on a graph tech anywhere. Okay? If you add some rhinestones or some materials with that and you're over two thousand dollars for the financing then you get two free artwork packs pretty sweet deal okay so that's going on through the 18th now uh-oh 200 i got the bell ready the bell has started to get bling too 195 let's go we're at 195 let's get this thing shared by the way we already hit our first mini pack giveaway let's get it going all right, so let's do this here. What we got going on tonight, I got two different things. First thing is our little business sign live template mini pack two, okay? So with this one here, this is for vinyl car decals. However, however, it can also be used for t-shirts. That's what's awesome about these types of layouts. So, I'm going to show you how to create a design like this, how to do the mock-up, and how to get that mock-up, because you'll get the PNG file of this storefront window right here to be able to do. All right? So, that mock-up for that window comes with the mini pack, along with 12 templates, and along with 7 fonts. All right? So couple different options here. You can see the longboard skate shop. Just again, changing it from what it is. You're going to get the single color and the full color of them. And then if you wanted, for example, to show what it looks like on a shirt, there it is on a shirt as well. So you can see. Now remember, any of you that are new, 200. 
That is two mini pack giveaways. Let's go. So I want to get some feedback here from you guys before we get going into the training. Okay, before we get going into the training, as soon as I put the stones on it, it doesn't bling as much anymore. So that's why it's, and it allows Jackson to sleep. How many of you here have made vinyl car decals before? Or windows, like for storefront windows? I'm going to show you. So, these are a couple that I did right before we started here, okay? You can see these two here. Just the vinyl car window decals. And then... This is, would be one more for the storefront window for the skate shop. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit this as well and get it ready for your vinyl cutter. Any of you that are saying that you've never done these before, you guys hear me harp on this all the time. You have to do this. You have to, I promise you. It is by far the biggest margins you will get on anything that you do. That's why my entire business was called the decal world off the start. Okay? This is where your money is. The t-shirts are great. You make money on the t-shirts and you got some good margins. You have ridiculous, ridiculous margins with the decals. Okay? So, that's a pretty sweet looking shirt there, isn't it, Todd? I was looking for something baseball-wise, and I know Todd's getting ready to open his storefront with his batting cages and stuff, so I Snapchat Todd, and I say, hey, do you mind me using your name in a sample just to show people what it looks like? Because obviously you guys know the name for Todd, and Todd was nice enough to say yeah, so we made a little shirt here just to show what it could look like on a shirt, but then also a car front or a, a storefront window as well, all right? So let's show you, and remember, you can see the coupon code right here, 65% off. So TRW release 65, take 65% off the $35 price, which is discounted $10 tonight because you guys are awesome and you're here with me tonight. All right, so let's do this. Oh, and then the other thing, just real quick, because we're going to get into some decals as well. This little decal live template and clip art sample pack, okay? This sample pack, it's going to have these three, six, these ten, the ten different clip arts right here. And it feels weird buying your own design. <laughs> but this right here is a different coupon code because I'm going to use this tonight to show you guys and using these ten different samples right here. But just to let you know, okay, just to let you know, that is a little bit different and it's going to be for the 80% off, all right? So this is actually 80% off. So when you go to your shopping cart and you use the coupon code TRWYouTube80, it's going to turn that into a $6 pack. So basically you get those 10 vector clip arts for six bucks. So any of you that are just starting this, you want to hop on it. Six bucks for 10 vector clip arts and they're ready to go for you. Okay. Now here's the deal with this because the 65% off for the pack and the 80% off for this, you will have to do two separate orders. You do have to order them separate, separately, yes. But there's no shipping involved anyway, so it's easy. Got it? It's not for wizard users only. No, you'll get an SVG file of them as well. Now, I'm going to show it in the wizard tonight, but you'll get an SVG file as well. Okay? You guys ready to do a little training here? Let's do this. So, here we go. I'm in Corel Draw in the TRW Design Wizard. A lot of you saw that Corel Draw um, 2019 came out. And just to let you know, the wizard is already compatible with Corel Draw 2019. However, not compatible with the Mac version of Corel Draw that was just released. Corel hasn't built the script for us to be able to do this. So when they do, 
Then our goal is to make the wizard compatible with Corel Draw Mac version. And now all of you Mac users, wizard time. So let's do this. First one I'm going to do is just a sample out of the business pack that we released. Okay. So with that business pack, here's what we're going to do. This is the business pack. You'll see the samples up here above me as I'm going through it. So I'm going to come over here to open template. And what's the, can someone give me the price of the business pack with the 65% off, please? What's the price of the business pack? So let's go to business, business live template mini pack two. And I'm going to pull in this one here, the surf expo one. So I'm just going to open up this file. I know the Mac version is going to be sweet. And now you have to reinstall it, Linda. Just reinstall your download of the wizard and then the toolbar will pop up. You're good to go. So if I want to change this to anything I want, okay, I'm going to come over here to my find text. It's going to find my text and I'm going to type in um, Lido beach skate shop and it's going to be in sarasota florida okay so i got everything ready you can 12.25 that's insane so 12 dollars and 25 cents for this pack with the mock-up and everything so i have that there now remember any time when you're working with a template and it's typing on a, a circle like this, there has to be a ellipse tool or a circle that the text is typing on. So when I go into wireframe here, okay, there it's looking at this circle right here, okay? But I don't want that circle in my design. So to get rid of it, I just highlight the entire design and then I'm going to break apart effects. And you can see it got rid of that circle and it's ready to go now. All right, so back to my enhance frame. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to take Lido Beach, shift click onto Sarasota. Maybe I want Sarasota, Florida to be a little bit bigger. No problem. I can just drag it a little bit bigger there and just move it up if I want. I can adjust any of this at any time. Okay, shift click on the Lido Beach, and I'm just going to weld that together. Now, remember, I want Lido Beach in Sarasota, Florida knocking through my design. So to do that, I'm going to click on both of them, shift click onto my black area there, and I'm going to do a back minus front. And then what that's going to do is it's going to knock that area out. So now let's just say I had a yellow background you're going to see whatever the background is coming through there. Okay, we're at 234. Let's go. Remember, we get to 300, you get a free 25 gross of rhinestones tonight and tomorrow with any roll of magic flock. We get to 400, you get a 50 gross. So, now that I have that, I want to just take this and I'm going to change it to a white so i'm going to come over here i'm going to use my fdc sign vinyl and i'm going to use my crystal white and i know that let's just say i measure my window out and the window is 30 inches wide okay and i'm going to put this on a storefront window so what i need to do is i need to enlarge my design to let's say about 24 25 inches i'm at 25 inches now and then i'm going to go to my mock-ups i created one for storefront and then front door click on that door right there it's going to process through and there it is perfectly on the door how sweet is that so that's exactly what it's going to look like and the perfect sizing on that storefront window on that door right there so if someone can and you guys i i've told you this all the time this is how i get like to get this image here, just to let you know, I literally went in front of a shop and just took a picture of it. And that's it. And I want to show you something else. 
Does that look good right there? Watch this. If I take away all of this. Does that look as good now? See that real big glare right there? So here's what I did. And I'm just going to control Z to go back so you can see the difference. Look at that and then look at that. Which one looks better? You can still see the glare on it, okay? Which makes it look real nice as far as realistic. And you can see kind of the parking lot in the background. But what I did is I just used my B spline tool, drew a square real quick, and then with that square, okay, I'll show you exactly what I did. So see how it's kind of hard to see the skate shop right there? It doesn't look great, right? But watch what I did. I'm going to, I'm just going to move this off to the side for right now. I went in here, I chose my B spline tool. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to hold V to start it so it's a straight line. I'm going to go to there and then I'm going to drag down because it didn't look as good. Okay. And click there. Come over here. I'm going to click there. Come up top here and then about halfway I'm going to click on it. And then at the top I'm going to click on it again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that black. So, this right here, and let me show you as I zoom out, that right there doesn't look great, right? Because it, it looks kind of fake. It looks like it has, like, black vinyl on top of it. You don't see the reflection and everything. But what I can do is take the black, that square that I drew, come over here to my transparency tool on the left-hand side, and then come down here and throw about a... I don't know. Let's throw about a 35 transparency on it. Now it gives that reflection. It gives that reflection of the background of the parking lot and makes it look like it's really a decal on a window. Pretty cool, right? So look how much better that looks compared to that there. So just using that transparency tool kept the, it basically, basically what we did is we tinted the window and we just made it look a lot nicer. So when we send that to the customer, okay, so all good, very simple. Now, let me go back in here and I'm going to open up another one of these templates. All right. And this is out of the business um, mini pack that we released tonight. And let's just pull in another one. Let's pull in this one right here. So this is Madison's Cupcake Factory. So when you open the file, okay, when you open the file, you're going to see a cupcake there, right? But the whole point is this doesn't have to be a cupcake design, okay? This could be Madison's, um, I don't know, whatever. Let's see. Let's click on the cupcake. Let's go to change artwork and... Let's go to a dog pack and I'm going to go to my dog animal peak pack. Pull in my animal peak pack. I'm going to pull this golden retriever in right here. It's going to swap it out with my golden retriever, right? Pretty cool. So this could be Madison's animal rescue. So I hit find text. I'll go to cupcake factory and I'm going to go animal rescue. You can see it fits in there. Perfect. Maybe it's still in Siesta Key, Florida. Now I'm going to click on Madison. I'm just going to weld that together. The animal rescue. Let's say that looks good there and Siesta Key is good. So I'm just going to convert it to curves real quick. I'm going to grab my little golden retriever here just to show you that it's on the front layer. Okay. There's the front layer right there. And then I'm going to come over to my magic boundary and I want to remove shapes behind. So if I do my magic boundary here, boom. Now it removed those shapes behind perfectly around it. And now I got Matt Madison's Animal Rescue. So when you look at these templates, don't think of it as a cupcake shop only or a baseball factory or this or this. 
you can change it to anything you want with any clip art that you have. That's what's really cool about it. And honestly, looking at the little dog here, it'd probably be cool if he was kind of peeking over the edge right here, wouldn't it? Let me go back one more step. And let's take the little golden retriever here, have him peeking over the edge with his little paws like that. And do a magic boundary. There we go. I think that looks even better. How sweet is that? And how easy was that, right? Now, remember the Madison is a layer on top, so we need to click on it and do our back minus front. So now Madison's knocked out of it. And if we wanted to make this into same type thing as far as a decal, we can do that. So we got our design here. Now, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to change it to, let's just say a white for right now. Let's enlarge this to maybe 24 inches wide and click on my little storefront. And then there's Madison's Animal Rescue. Simple as that. Yes, the, the actual dog that I pulled out of was out of our, our Animal Peak Pack. So yes, that's on the website and the mini packs are on the website as well. Okay. Um... Yeah, I can show you. So those right there, just to show you those animals. Let me show you real quick. And then we got to get into cutting some of these decals. So I'm going to go over here to change artwork. Say I wanted to swipe it out. And I'm going to go to the Animal Peak Pack. And you're going to see it's got Golden Retrievers. And it's got Great Danes and Huskies and... Maltese and pit bulls and Pomeranians and poodles and pugs and Rottweilers and all different types of dogs in here. Schnauzers and Shih Tzus and Yorkshire Terriers and Basset Hounds and Beagles and Beavers and Border Collies and it's insane. There's, there's a ton of them. A ton of them in here. I mean it's even got horses and giraffes and gators and elephants and eagles and it's like the cereal, right? Yeah, it's, and there's many packs of this as well. For any of you that are newer that haven't seen these, there's many packs of these as well in the mini pack section, and you can use the 65% off on the mini packs. Okay? All right. Now I want to show you guys how I made huge money on things like these. Okay? So, with these here insane if i have the wizard and you can do all of this stuff in silhouette designer edition and everything as well okay we're at 244 let's go guys let's go 244 we got to get this going if somebody sees that facebook comes back up also let me know and i'll try to go live on facebook let me see if it's going to let me know live video let's see boom live Oh, it might let us. Hold on. Nope, cannot start live video. Still not going to let us. So here's how I would do it in the wizard, okay? What I would do is I would come over to my magic tab and I would hit window decal. And it's just going to drop a window decal on there for me. Now let's just say the window decal, I want it to be, I don't know, 5.2 inches wide. So I'm good there. Now, if I wanted to do a good amount of these decals, I'm going to cut this on 12 inch wide material. Okay, let's say you're using a silhouette cameo. I'm going to cut this on 12 inch wide material. So I'm going to come over here to edit. I'm going to do my copy selected and let's just put a little spacing between it, a 0 0.03 and duplicate that. Uh, maybe we need a little bit more than a 0 0.03. Let's go 0 0.1. See what that is and duplicate it that looks pretty good you want a little bit more it's completely up to you as far as how much spacing you want in between each one what's point two going to do that's going to give us a pretty good amount now i'm going to go point three when i go down here so there we go so let's just say i were going to do four decals okay four decals here check this out and watch how easy this is <clears throat> So that sample pack that I was talking about, let's just say they didn't want a soccer ball in this one. I can just go to change artwork, 
That sample pack is this one right here. So it comes with the band player, the trumpet player, comes with the baseball player, the basketball, the football, the dancer, the cheerleader, the hockey player, the women's soccer player, the volleyball player, and wrestling. All right. So let's just say I wanted basketball. Double click. And now that soccer ball is basketball. Click on this one. Let's go to change artwork. I'm going to pull from that same little sample pack. And this one, I'm going to do a volleyball player. Double click. Soccer ball is going to swap out for the volleyball player. There we go. And then on this one, we want to do a baseball player. So change artwork. Same pack right here, and I want the baseball player. It's TRW YouTube 80 for the 80% off this mini pack. So with this here, I have my baseball player, and it's okay if it touches that text a little bit, but someone give me a high school name. Someone give me a high school name. <clears throat> like Southeast Seminoles, Lakewood Ranch Mustangs. I'm trying to go live from my phone. It won't let me. It says, cannot start live video. TRW Release 65 is for the business pack. TRW YouTube 80 is for this one here. Okay? Um, let's see, let's see. Franklin Quakers. Okay, Blackbird. Franklin Quakers. Let's say all four of these are for the same school. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go Franklin. And then for the mascot here, I'm going to go Quakers. And I just customized all four of them at the same time. Now, obviously, if they have different numbers and everything else, maybe I want to move this over a little bit here. Maybe I want to move that over a little bit there. And <laughs> even if I had 20 of them here, I could have customized them all at the same time. Maybe you want to change one of them. Now you can hit show all, find text, and it's going to show all of them. And I want to change the second Franklin to what's another one I see here. West Side Renegade. So, West Side, and then the second Quakers to Renegade. And now I have West Side Renegade for that one. So, it's really, really easy, really, really easy to be able to customize and change all of these things. It's pretty awesome. Okay? Everybody see how easy that was? So now what I want to do, let's just say we want to cut two of these real quick, okay? So I have my two cuts here. I'm going to cut it on our Graph Tech Vinyl Cutter over here. So first thing I always want to do, first thing I always want to do is I want to, uh, where you can get the mini pack, I see a lot of you asking, so let me show you real quick. This pack on the Rhinestone World, just these 10 are this little decal mini pack right here, okay? It's 80% off with the coupon code, so you get all 10 of them for six bucks. And I created a whole video, if you click on the video, on how to make money with this, okay? Make sure to check that out. So, back to Corel, I have both of these. How am I gonna, I want you guys to tell me, a lot of you know, how am I gonna cut this file? What's my easiest way to cut this file? And you guys keep me updated on Facebook if you see something come back up. And I'll try to go live to hook you guys up. I know it's hard. It's, it's not giving you guys the ability to share everywhere tonight. So it's hard to get people here. We still have 252. So anytime I want to cut something, I like, I prefer to do the vinyl overcut. Okay? I prefer... Yes, the, the sample pack is also in, these are designs that are in the big pack. So people who don't necessarily want the entire large pack, this is kind of a sample pack to see kind of what it is. So here's what I would do. Highlight my design. 
I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to do a vinyl overcut. Yes, these are in the full pack. That's correct. So see how it split them into two different ones. The reason why it did that, okay, the reason why it did that is it doesn't look like it. It's hard to tell, but there was a little bit different shading in the black on the design here, okay? Even if it's just one RGB color off, then it's going to be off and it's going to look at it as a different color, which is no problem. We can just come over here. Easiest way to fix it is just hit weld. That way it turns it all to one color and then... Remember, I'm going to left click on vinyl overcut because I don't want it to mirror. Because anytime you put application tape on, you don't want it to mirror. The coupon code for that is TRWYouTube80. That's the coupon code there. Okay, TRWYouTube80. So, I want to cut this now, highlight my design, I'm going to come over to launch, and I'm going to cut plot CM4, which is cutting master 4, all right? And these are decals that I sell on the spot, 10 bucks each, you got about 9 cents in cost. So, I'll click on my little question mark there, that's going to get my size of my material, and then I want to bring you over and show you as far as loading the material and everything, on the Graph Tech Vinyl Cutter as well. So let's head over to the production side here. And let me bring my mic over here so you guys can hear me and show you what's going on. So when we're over here, you can see I'm gonna release my vinyl. I have my vinyl roll on the back right here. So first thing we need to do is we need to always make sure our pinch rollers are in these blue areas here, okay? And that's how your pinch roller and everything is going to feed correctly on our graph tech. So I'm just going to line my vinyl up here. That looks good. Pinch roller, pinch roller. I'm going to lock it down. So I'm going to hit one for front edge. Now I turned off the sensors on the machine so it's not going to bring it to the front edge. So because I turned off the sensors, I'm going to have to manually move it to the front edge and hit origin. Okay. Facebook's back up. I'll check it out. Cheryl, make sure you cleared out any other coupon code that you might have in there and then put the coupon code. The YouTube, you'll have to do two separate orders for what we're doing tonight. The TRW YouTube 80 is going to be for this little mini sample decal pack. And then the TRW Release 65, which is, and I'm going to put them up there real quick. Hold on. So there's the decal sample pack, and then that is the 65% off. So you should see over there, up there is the decal coupon code, down there is the business mini pack coupon code. So you will have to do two separate orders, okay? No shipping, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so got the mic here, can you guys hear me okay? Have my design here, have it all laid out. I'm going to head back over to the software here. Let me turn the mic around so you guys can hear me. And I'm going to go to my cut settings. And I have a cut force of 10. And I'm going to hit send. So I'm using a 45 degree blade on this cut. And that's what you'll see. That's what you'll see me use a lot. I use a 45 degree blade on almost everything that I do. Almost everything I do. So, you can see I have my speed right now set at 30. So I'm at about half speed of what this vinyl cutter can do. And here's what I would be doing right now. If I had, I'm only cutting two of these now. Let's say I had 10 of these to do. I would probably cut four of them right now. Okay, and then, and then I would go in and edit all of the other ones right now with the names, and then as this is cutting. So I'm working as my vinyl cutter is working. Once this is done, then I send the next one as I'm weeding these. And then the vinyl cutter is cutting, and I'm over here weeding. Okay, this is the FDC sign vinyl, correct. 
Man, I agree, Valerie. Get a battery backup. <laughs> That's one thing I would definitely recommend. Something that you have to have here in Florida. Valerie said her electricity went off when she was printing on the graph tech today. Too bad it doesn't start where it left off. Um, get a battery backup for your vinyl cutter because that's, that, that's huge. That's huge. Have the battery backup because we get lightning storms here all the time and, and the power just flickers. If that power flickers, the cutter shuts off. Wasted material. So the cutter will hold what you're cutting while editing the next batch. Uh, yes, it will, Leslie. Yep. TRW YouTube 80. Yes, that's correct. Yes, you can't have both in your basket at the same time. You have to do each one individually. So this is finishing up here. Now I can see as far as my pressure wise, my pressure looks good. I might have done a tiny bit too much pressure, but it should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit one to view. It's going to bring this out for me here. And I put the weed box around it so I know exactly where to trim off. So I'm going to trim that off. And now I'm going to rotate the camera a little bit over here. And I'm going to bring the mic over here and this camera for the weeding side of it. All right, so when it comes to weeding this, I have my light here, which is awesome. So the heat press lights are perfect when it comes to obviously your heat press, but also when you're weeding as well. It works really good. So first thing I'm gonna do is just get rid of my outside border. So that's good there. And what I always do when I'm weeding sign vinyl is I always work from the right side to the left because of the inside cavities, okay? Um, recommendation for a battery backup, Valerie, I'll put one on our favorite things after the live here, okay? So I'm going to come over here, grab my edge, and start pulling these up. And what I like to do is I like to, as I'm pulling this up, kind of crumble the vinyl up in my hand a little bit. Because as many of you know, if the vinyl gets down and touches itself, it's just going to stick to itself. But look how easy that weed was. Do every single one of you have that easy of a weed when you're doing your signed vinyl? Let me know. Because if you don't, I probably know why. Or at least I know why mine is that easy. Okay, so... Get my inside cavities here of the R. Let's go inside the Quaker there, inside the A here, inside the R here. I'm good with that. Got to go inside the A here, R here, A here, R here. And we're good to go. So the reason why a lot of you don't get that easy of a weed when it comes to sign vinyl the reason why I got that and it was so easy just to pull it off is number one, it was the graph tech. Number two, it was the vinyl overcut feature. That vinyl overcut feature makes a big difference in the heat transfer vinyl, but it makes a huge difference when it comes to cutting the sign vinyl because when it does the vinyl overcut, and let me show you up close here. When it does the vinyl overcut, if it's cutting a square, Normally, it's going to start here. It's going to go here, 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 and stop where it started. So, with sign vinyl, if that happens, okay, sometimes a eye will pull up, and the little letter will pull up a little bit, and you got to push it back down with your finger. You can see I didn't do that one time in this live right here. And the reason why is we did the vinyl overcut, so it went here, 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 and then... Without the blade lifting, it started to cut another quarter inch. So that's what allowed it to cut completely through the design. Makes it really easy. All right, so now I just need to get some app tape. So I got my big roll of app tape here. I always like to just turn it upside down 
put it on it like this and then I can say, yep, I got enough app tape and then just trim that off. Now, I like to hold it like a U and let's get this so it's flush. Hold it like a U and just drop it down on. Now I want to show you a little trick here. I was looking around before the live and trying to find my squeegee and I can't find it anywhere. And yes, I looked in the trash. So here's the question. What do I use as a backup for a squeegee? Let me know what you use. Before I do it, let me know what you use for a backup for a squeegee if you don't have a squeegee. Credit card. I hated that because I would break my credit cards, right? Or it would bend the credit card. I hated using credit cards because they didn't have a good give to it as well. What else? I, I figured that most of you would say credit cards. Judy, all over it. Cammy, all over it. You guys have seen that, haven't you? So, you guys know I love foam board for helping me with pressing. Foam board is also awesome for a squeegee because it's got give to it and it forms with it. So, I'll grab my foam board. That's a pretty awesome squeegee. I just saved you money. Foam board, baby. And I saved you breaking your credit card or your driver's license, too. Ruler, again, ruler doesn't work as good because it's not getting down to all of those spots. So what if I were on an uneven table? Again, the foam board will form to it because it's going to bend a little bit. And it's a perfect squeegee. The tape is on it so I know what size. This is my three and a half inch foam board. So I always write them. This is my four inch foam board. I always write on it. So once I have this, let's just go ahead and trim that. I like to give it little rounded corners. Trim there, cross there, and there. Good to go. Trim down the middle here. And customer's ready for it. Pull that off. And they got a perfect decal ready to go. That's it. And we just made two Franklin Quakers. Women's volleyball, baseball, decals, 10 bucks each. About 9 to 11 cents in cost for these two. Pretty insane. Alright, I want to stay up here for a second. I'll stay up here close. I want to answer a couple questions that you guys have. Code's working out awesome. The foam board, I'll show you guys here. It's just Elmer's foam board. So, can you guys see it right here? And it's uh, 20 inches by 30 inches. 20 inches by 30 inches by... It says a half inch, but I don't think that's a half inch. Um, let me check tape measure here. It is. Wow. That seemed like more than a half inch. So it's a half inch thick. Half inch thick. 20 inches by 30 inches. And then I just cut it with a straight knife. Alright, let me flip back here. And Oh, I gotta get my mic. Hold on. Alright, let's answer some questions. What we got? What we got? That is the R tape that I used, yes. That's the R tape application tape. So you can see here it's the R tape. And I love the clear tape. I love the clear tape because 
you can see the decal perfect and it looks good for the customer. That's this. I don't know, Sean. Yes, that's this material. It's the same one. This is the only one we have on the website as far as for the big rolls. We're at 275. I'll make a deal for you because Facebook is down. If we hit 300, I'll do the 50 gross of stones. I'm trying a live video again. Nope. Cannot start live video. Still not letting us. Yeah, I love the R tape. Facebook's back up and running. It's not showing it for me, Marine. Um, let me try and log off and do it again. So, or maybe live's not back up yet. So if I go publish, live video. Nope, still not let me. Let me get off the, let me just go with, nope. I tried my cellular and Wi-Fi. And it won't let go live for either of them. Um, if you use the overcut, can I save the file and then bring it up in a computer that has... It? Yeah, yeah, Kathy. So the overcut is actually... It's changing the actual design and everything. So, for example, like this C right here. Okay? When it does that overcut, if I click on this C here and I move this. See that? So, it actually is moving the actual file, okay? Like that. That's the overcut right there. So, oh, can you not see? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me go. So, let me show you again. So, the C right there on center field, if I move this line right here, you can see that's where the overcut is. So it doesn't matter what software you use, anything. When you create it in the wizard and you bring it to any other software, any other vinyl cutter, anything you want, it's going to have that overcut on it. So if you sent the file to somebody else, it's going to have the overcut on it. Pretty sweet. 286. I'm telling you, if we get to 300... Because YouTube is, or because Facebook's not working, if we get to 300, I'll do the free 50 gross of crystal SS10 rhinestones, which is, I think, a 23, almost $24 value, free with every purchase of Magic Flock, tonight and tomorrow. Foam board is from Michaels. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I'm seeing some questions on the business mini pack and I can answer those and I'll bring it back up. Any questions on these decals? Did everybody get, did everybody get the actual coupon code to work? Is everybody good with that? I'll show you real quick again. So this is the decal live template pack. If I have that in my cart, just that. And I use the coupon code. Watch, I'll remove the old coupon code. So it's $30. TRW YouTube 80. And hit enter. That brings it to six bucks. Okay. Now, if I close that out and take that out of my cart. All right. And then I go to the business pack that you guys are asking about right now. This one, I'm going to add that to the cart. So the, it is two separate orders. It's kind of a pain in the butt right now. But it's because, I mean, you can do it under one order if you wanted to and just make the other 65% off. But I'm sure you want to save more money, right? This is TRW Release 65. Apply. And it makes that $35.1225. Got it? Does it work with the silhouette? Um, yes and no. It really depends. So silhouette business edition, you can import and open CDR files. If it's not, and it's just designer edition, you're still going to get the layout 
of these templates and you can just type in the word. So you'll still get the layout and everything. You'll still get the mock-up. And I'm seeing, do you guys want me to show you how I created and how I put the mock-up into the wizard? Let me know. I saw that question come through a little bit. Let me know and I'll show you how I did it. Decal question. What can you use instead of a number in position for dance, cheer, neat ideas? Um, you could do a year. But honestly, for dance and cheer and stuff, I just normally didn't put anything. If it were for like a dance high school team, you could put their graduating year, like uh, the little dash 19 or whatever you want. So, but normally for cheer, I would just put Lakewood Ranch cheerleading and no number or position. Okay, I see everybody saying yes, they want to learn how to put them up. Okay, so like I said, with this pack right here, you're going to get the full color, you're going to get the single color, and then you're going to get this window mock-up, okay? So with the window mock-up, this is what it's going to look like. When you open it up, it'll just be a PNG file of this right here. And let me show you. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to convert this to a bitmap. And hit OK there. And now this is just a bitmap. You can see... It's pixelated and everything, right? So, with this bitmap file here, here's how you're going to add it, okay? And for this part, you do have to have the TRW Design Wizard, okay? So, let me show you. I'm going to come over, and I'm going to go to my M Creator, which is my mock-up creator, all right? I know that this window, I measured it, and this window is 30 inches wide, Okay? 30 inches wide. So, I'm going to go to Add Products, and I'm going to go 30 inches, and Create Design Placement. I'm going to take this red box, and I'm going to move it from there to right there. The full 30 inches. Highlight both of them, and then down here, okay, Let's act like you don't have a folder in there yet, so we want to create one. So to create one, I'm going to add new folder, and we're going to call this Windows. Oh, let me take off the caps lock. Windows, and OK. And then the window I want here is Storefront. And then I'm just going to hit Save Custom Product. It's that easy. And I'm done. I can put any mock-up I want into here and into the wizard that easy. So product has been saved under Windows and Storefront. So check this out now. Let's come back and find, let's do one of our, I'm going to open templates. I'm going to go to that business live template mini pack 2 and let's open up the boom factory. So, click on the Boom Factory here. That's going to open up our file here. The 80 did not work, the 65 did. Tanya, make sure that you removed the 65 coupon code before you try the 80. Okay? That's where most people are having the issue. So, we got the Boom Factory here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to merge my three color live text. And, oh, wait, before I do that, we want to ungroup our design. Remember that. That's always the first thing. So, now we're ungrouped. You can see I could grab just the baseball if I want. Highlight and merge three color live text. So, now it's good and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I got a little bit of work here. So, I got this baseball. I want to knock it out of that area and then here. But... I'm going to change this one up and show you how easy it is. I'm going to swap that baseball and I'm going to go to change artwork and I'm going to do the design from this little live clip art pack. And I'm going to click on this baseball player. It's going to swap it out. Now, I want this baseball player to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make him a little bit bigger and move him down here a little bit. Okay, completely different design now. Now... 
Let's see what layer he's on. Looks good. Below that, above that. So, first thing I can do is I'm going to convert all of my text to curves. And now I'm going to take my baseball player here and I'm going to do a magic boundary. And with that magic boundary, when I click there, that's going to knock that part out. And now I'm going to click on this kind of border around do a magic boundary there and it knocked that part out and now I have my baseball player built in there. How sweet is that and how cool does that look? So in a matter of seconds there we changed it from the baseball. We could make it a volleyball player. We could make it a soccer player. We could make it a softball player. We can make it a, a, a beer mug and it could be for a bar. So anything you want, okay? So have that now. Now what we're going to do is, remember the Moline in the Illinois here, we need to knock those out of this black area here. So I'm going to do a back minus front, and now those are knocked out of that area. And highlight my design. Let's say we want to make this all one color and throw it on that front window. So let's go ahead and make it, let's say 26 inches. I'm gonna go in here to the mockups. We called one windows. We just added this storefront. We'll click on that window and the boom factory is open and ready for business. How cool would it be and I never, had the, I never had the ability to do this type of stuff when I was doing my decal side of the business. But how cool would it be to have... A, this is what I would do. I would tell you what I would do if I were, okay? If I were doing this finished product side of the business right now. I would tell my customer, hey, and I, here's the next thing I would do. You guys want a really cool hint? It's going to bring you some business. I guarantee it. It's just a matter if you do it or not. I'm going to give you a little hint. I'll tell you exactly what I would do if I were in your position right now. And I had the ability to do this. I would have Lorraine videotape me on her phone. Okay? On her phone, I would show me going outside of our warehouse or any storefront. Okay, and I would go in and I would say videotape me and I would say, hey, this is Matt with the decal world. I'm going to show you how I can make a perfect storefront window for your business, for your customers. So we're going to go outside. She's going to videotape me. I'm going to go out there with my phone. I'm going to take a picture of the storefront window and I'm going to say, this is what you guys are going to do. You're going to walk outside. You're going to take a picture of your storefront window. Come inside, email it to me. And then this is what I'm going to do when you email it to me. I'm going to take that picture. I'm going to take your logo. I'm going to customize it for you. And I'm going to drop it perfectly onto the window. You just give me the measurement of your door. And I can show you exactly what this decal is going to look like before you ever purchase it. And I guarantee you, people will watch that YouTube video and you will get business from it. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be a month from now. But I guarantee you, you will get business from that YouTube video. Because you're walking them through the entire process of how to get a storefront window decal. It's easy. It would take you an hour to make the video maybe. Throw it up on YouTube. You're not going to get a lot of views off the start, but then people are going to start searching YouTube for storefront window decals. And I'm telling you, you have zero chance of not making and gaining more customers from doing that video. Uh, Matt, how hard is it to put that larger size decal on? It's not difficult. I'm going to... um. I'm going to make a video. I've had that request a lot. I'm going to make an application video for you guys. But you guys should make an application video because that's how you guys are going to make money. Okay? 
I have some old ones. I, I took a lot of them down, but I still do have some of my old ones on the decal world. Now, I also see some of you asking, what if I wanted to do this decal right here? And I'm looking at this decal and I'm seeing it's 20 inches by 26 inches, right? 20.1 20 20 by 26. Can you guys with the silhouette cameo, can you guys make this decal right here? I'm going to try the live. Hold on. Let me know. 12 inch silhouette cameo, 12 inch sign vinyl. Can you make this decal? Oh, it might let me go live. Um, we are live. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to allow me. It's trying to. What's up, Facebook? Are you guys back? Are you guys here? You guys let me know here if you get the notification on Facebook. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if anybody's going to join on Facebook. I got two people on there right now. And then they just got booted. We'll see what happens. But check this out. If you guys wanted to do this decal right here, okay, here's what you would do. You would come to the edit tab and you'll see the split feature right here, okay? I want to split this at 0.1. So if I right click on this, there's my split. You got the notification? We got 12. Facebook, you guys are here. Heck yeah. Come on, Facebook. We only have 260 people. We got some free rhinestones we want to give away. We got a silhouette cameo we want to give away. Head over to the Rhinestone World YouTube channel right now, Facebook. Facebook has been down all day. We're struggling over here. We're struggling. Let's go. But check this out. When I use that split tool on the wizard, what it actually does when I go to the wireframe is it overlaps it. So you'll see, let me change colors here. When I move this a little bit, see how it's still showing, still showing, and then you're good. And that allows you to layer it perfectly. That's what allows you to layer this perfectly. So this one right here is 10 inches. This one right here is 10 inches. So I can cut this on my Cameo, cut this on my Cameo, and then when I apply it, I just put them together. Okay? All of you guys, hurry up and get on Facebook right now. You guys get on Facebook and share the live link so we can get some people here. We're up to 270. We just jumped 10 people. All right. Remember, I said if we get to 300, if I get to 300, I would do the free 50 gross with the purchase of Magic Flock. Any questions on the split feature? Everybody good with that? All of you on Facebook, head over to the Rhinestone World YouTube channel right now. If someone can post the link on Facebook, that would be sweet. Let's do it. Is the wizard the only mock-up software AG? No, it's not the only mock-up software. It's just the best mock-up software. Um, how much would I charge for this decal? This decal at 20 inches by 26 inches. Um, let me try something here real quick. I'm going to open Excel here. And yes, you overlap when you apply it. That is correct. And that's what makes it so easy and look so nice. Okay, so let me, give me one second here. I'm trying to find, here we go. And I think 
this is the newest one. Let me bring this down here. Okay, so this is the business profit calculator. All right, total quantity being produced, we're just gonna produce one. So if I scroll down on the business profit calculator here, um, we're at 280, let's go, 300, we need 300. Facebook, let's go, 300. I come over to Sign Vinyl, okay? On the Sign Vinyl, I want the FTC Intermediate Sign Vinyl, and I'm going to choose the Crystal White, and what was it, 20 inches by 26 inches? So 20 by 26. So this is buying the material not in a full roll. So that gives us $3.07 in cost for this big 20 by 26 inch decal. Now, once I scroll down here on the profit calculator, okay, I can see in here, okay, my overhead cost. Now, what if it takes me, let's say, I don't know, it won't take long, maybe 12 minutes to make this. So I'm going to put 12 minutes of production time. Quantity needed to produce, we're going to produce one of them. We don't have a design and setup fee on this, okay? Because it was just a template that we just typed in real quick. So we have $1.90 in labor cost, 71 cents in our business overhead cost. So our total cost is five sixty eight dollars on this decal. So when we come down here and we start to look at our suggested retail price and our discount percent and everything, this is where if I type in a 98% margin, obviously you aren't going to make 98%. With a decal like this, I normally like to be in like 80 to 85% range. So if I want an 80% profit margin, that's going to put this decal suggested retail price at $28. Okay? And you decide your percentage on what you want to make. But remember, those are pretty crazy percentages right there for the vinyl decals. And the vinyl decals are always pretty crazy like that. Just always remember, the bigger the decal, kind of the smaller the percentage. All right, bigger the decal, smaller the percentage. So if I were at 85%, which is normally about where I stood, I would be about $35. Um, labor for installation, Blackbird, just to let you know, remember, when I had the decal world side of the business, I sold all over the United States, okay? And when I sold all over the United States, obviously I wasn't flying to California to install something. I had a video teaching them how to do it. If they were local, I would charge them an installation fee. <clears throat> so I might charge them 20 bucks for an installation fee. So I don't figure that out as far as the answer. Depending on the size of the decal, if I'm doing a six foot wide decal, I might charge 50 bucks to install it. If I'm doing this little 20 by 26 inch, that's not going to be bad. It's going to take me three to five minutes to install it. I might charge them 20 bucks and that's more for the time to drive there to depending on where they are. Okay. So you can decide your pricing, but the biggest thing isn't the time to install it. It's the time to get to the place that you're going to the time. So even if it's only a five minute install, it might take you an hour to get there and an hour back. So it's actually two hours and five minutes of your time. So you got to think about that stuff. Think about when you have, a, like we had an electrician come to the warehouse the other day, last week. Well, the service call was $100, right? And then it was the hourly rate plus materials. So... That's where it all really depends on you making it worth your time. I always like to not install it because I didn't want to take two hours out of my time and I made the video on how to do it. Okay, this calculator does everything. Okay, this is our business profit calculator. So this is on the website. Um, let me show you.
This is our super calculator. It does vinyl decals to rhinestones to heat transfer vinyl to multi-deck designs to everything, okay? Um, but where that is on the site, if you go to the rhinestone world and you scroll down on the main page a little bit here, you're going to see the business profit calculator. This is, it's going to figure out your labor cost. It's going to figure out your material cost. It's going to figure out your overhead cost. It's going to figure out all of that stuff. So it even does more than what the wizard does. We're at 282. Facebook, let's go. Get over here. Facebook, are all of you guys on Facebook? Are all of you over here on the TRW YouTube channel? We need 15 more of you to do this. How many of you missed? You guys want me to make another decal? We only have 15 minutes left, but I want to get to at least 300 so we can do that 50 gross of free stones. Any of you that missed the decal, I know some of you came over from Facebook. Um, we got to get to 400 for the cameo. We did 300 last week. We need 400. This Facebook, Instagram being down stuff killed us tonight. Was not good. Not good. <clears throat> so, the packs that we released tonight, okay... The packs that we released tonight are the business decal pack right here. And that's how I made like a storefront window like this one here. So the Longboard Skate Shop, Siesta Key, Florida. And then I also, this is one we had a while back, 297 plus that's another mini pack giveaway. Let's go. And if we get to 400, we got a cameo giveaway. Facebook is back up and running. Let's do this. Instagram is back up and running. Let's go. Share, share, share. 297. 300. 298. Just to let you know, those of you guys who are new, that 299. If we get to 300, boom, boom, boom. The power of Facebook. So, just to let you guys know what that means by getting to 300, okay? It means we have a third mini pack giveaway that we're going to do, okay? A third mini pack giveaway. But what it also means is this right here. Let me show you. <clears throat> so, for this. Because Facebook was down, I dropped it to 300 live attendees. So, basically, anybody that tonight or tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow, buys a roll of Magic Flock, number one, you're going to get your free font. Okay, you'll get the free rhinestone font with it. Number two, in your package, you will get a free 50 gross of crystal SS10 rhinestones. If you bought a 50 gross on the website right now, it's $23.80. So, any purchase with a roll of Magic Flock, you will get a free 50 gross of stones. Just to let you know, if we get to 400, that's only 96 more. Listen, this is big. If we get to 400, we will have a Silhouette Cameo giveaway. And instead of a 50 gross, you'll get a 100 gross of stones with your roll of Magic Flock. It's going to be hard to get 100 people here in 14 minutes, though. So you better find a good group that's going to bring a lot of people for a Cameo giveaway. But I know a lot of you weren't here. So what I'll do, if you guys want real quick, because we still have about... 13 minutes, I am going to, I'm going to run through, it's crystal stones. So just to make it easy for our packing department, it's crystal stones. So it's crystal SS10, the most popular stones. And believe me, those are the stones you'll use the most. So let me show you real quick. I'll cut another decal. 
So let me show you guys how I set up the decal. We'll make another one real quick. By the time we're done with that, we'll have some more people in here. And then we will start the giveaways. As of right now, we have three mini pack giveaways. So check this out. I'm in the wizard. I go to magic. I go to the window decal. I click on the window decal. It's going to bring up my window decal here. I want that to be, let's say, 5.2 inches wide. Got my window decal. I want to create two of them. So I'm just going to click here. It's going to create my second decal. If I wanted to make four of them, I would click here and it's going to create four decals. Pretty easy, right? Now, I want to edit these decals. <clears throat> I'm going to make these for Southeast Seminoles, okay? Um, do we get free rhinestones even if we just order one roll of Magic Flock? Yes, AG, one roll. So it has to be the five-yard roll, not one foot of Magic Flock. But if you order just one roll of Magic Flock, you will get a free 50 gross. If you order two rolls of Magic Flock, you will get two 50 grosses. So however many rolls you order, you'll get of 50 gross. That's correct. I saw somebody say, what if I ordered three rolls? Guess what? You get 150 gross of crystal stones. So check this out. Fine text. Um, give me a high school. Let's go. Let's run it again. Give me a high school. Uh-oh, we're at 296. What happened? The magic flock is the rhinestone template material, yes. So basically, the whole point, you get magic flock, you need rhinestones. Well, now you get some free rhinestones. The font I'm using on here is just the um, impact font. Just impact font. So, simple font. Alright, what do we got here? Harlem Huskies. Kelly said a Harlem Husky. So I want to customize all of these. I'm going to go Harlem and for the mascot here, I'm going to go Huskies. And it doesn't matter if there were four of them or 50 of them. It would have customized all of these at the same time. Pretty sweet, right? And then I'm going to do two of them for soccer. And then I want this, the first one, not to be number 23. I want them to be number 25. And... This one's not a um, center forward. They're a goalie. Okay? So we customize those. This one's not a soccer player. I'm going to go to change artwork. I'm going to pull from that little sample pack that's on sale right now. We're going to swap it out with the Harlem Huskies basketball team. And they are a point guard. So I'm going to go to my CF right here and I'm going to do PG. Jordan's number. We'll take that and then swap this soccer ball and go to change artwork. And I'm going to change that one from that sample pack out with the girl's actual uh, soccer player. So click there and it's going to swap with my girl's soccer player. And I can move any of these to wherever I want as well. All right. So those are good. Okay. Now, we're just going to cut two of them for the sake of time. So I'm just going to get rid of that. We're good to go here. What if I just didn't want position? And let's mix this one up a little bit. I want the number 23 to go inside the basketball here. So let me show you how I would do that. I would take 23 here. I would maybe throw it off to the side a little bit right here. And then what I would do is if I had that, let's say, here, and let's throw it up into this corner area here, right about there, and I would come down here to my magic boundary. So I'm going to convert it to curves, take my 23, I'm going to do a contour and a magic boundary on this, and the biggest thing we need to make sure is that the 23 is our top layer. So change the color, it's the back layer. Move it to the front, do our magic boundary, and then we can change it back to the black now. And now I have a custom number 23 in that basketball. Highlight it. Let's go ahead and weld it together there. And now that we have this, okay, I want to go ahead and cut this design. So remember I used templates and vinyl overcut. 
And there's my templates and cuts ready to go. Let's highlight it. Let's switch to our production screen here. Move this camera over a little bit here. And bring this one back over to our vinyl cutter. Bring that up a little bit. And let's bring our mic over here so you guys can hear me. So, I'm just going to bring my um, cutter and the vinyl that we had already cut back to my home position. Make sure we're all good. That looks good there. Come back here and I'm going to go launch, cut plot CM4. And once I'm on CM4 here, I'm just going to make sure that my settings are still good. I have a force of 10 and I'm going to hit send. So that's going to send my cut there, a force of 10 that I'm cutting at now. So as this is cutting, what are we at? We're at 314. Just to let you guys know, just to let you guys know, if we get 400 is a huge number. A huge number for Facebook being down and everything. <clears throat> if we get to 400, every roll of magic flock that you buy tonight or tomorrow, you'll get a free 100 gross of crystal stones. A $42 value. If we don't, you already earned a free 50 gross with every roll of magic flock. So, not bad. Not bad. We're still alright. We already earned that and we have three mini packs that we're going to give away. But also, just to let you know, if we do get to that 400, we're giving away a silhouette cameo tonight too. Okay? So, again, I have my speed set at about 30. I'm doing a, a, a smaller or a slower cut here. I never like, I never like to speed through my designs. Because anything you hurry at is just not going to be as good, as quality, as good as a cut. What ideas do you have for parents with more than one player on a team for shirts? Um, Vanessa, we just throw numbers on each, so they obviously have the last name. So let's say I had Jackson and Jonathan, and I had two boys playing baseball. I would just throw Vasalo on the back, and then instead of a number on the back, I would put Jonathan's number on this sleeve and Jackson's number on this sleeve. Easy enough. I've done it with three before, too. And we would just put last name and then three numbers across the back. So you can, same thing on the decal. Decal, don't put a position and just put two different numbers or three different numbers. So pretty simple. All right, cut my weed box now. Grab my scissors here. I love the GraphTech vinyl cutter because I can come over here and I can hit one for view. It's going to bring it out so I can look at where my cut line is. Trim that off real easy. Let's bring our mic over here. Let's bring our camera over here. And let's weed this bad boy. So... You guys saw me do the weed. Some of you saw me do the weeding already, but just to knock it out again here, I'm just going to grab my outside area. That's good there. And then I always pull from the right side to the left. So even that inside of the 23, it hit that perfect. The center field or center fielder hit that perfect. Look how easy that was to weed right there. Stupid easy, right? Now, the inside of the basketball, I'm just going to grab around this area. Let's start to pull this up. And it's got the inside cavities there. So it's going to pull around there. And then grab my inside areas here, 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 and here. Good to go with that. Inside of the A, inside of the R, good on the bottom, good there, inside of the A, inside of the R, and we're done. App tape. Let's grab my app tape here real quick, and you can see, normally if I'm doing this for a team, I'm going to use 24 inch wide vinyl, and I'm going to cut normally four across at a time, and I'm going to do five rows at a time. 
and I'm gonna do 20 decals at a time. So, grab this here, hold it like my U, drop that down, grab my temporary squeegee, right? And get this bad boy squeegee. Good to go there and trim around it. And this right here is what you call an easy 20 bucks at an event. And then once I pull this up, you can see everything ready to go. Switch cameras here. What do you think? Not bad, huh? Not bad. So, we've made now one, we've made six decals tonight. 60 bucks right there. Good to go. Yeah, you're like, I'm, I'm foam boarding everything now, Kristen. When am I going to start selling transfer paper? Slim, for what? What do you mean transfer paper? Let me know on... Oh, need the mic. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, Mike is back. <sighs> 10 30, it's time. So here's the deal it was going to be a 25 gross. Because of Facebook being down and because of Instagram being down, I bumped up and I said, if we hit 300 people, you're going to get a 50 gross. So we got the 50 gross. We're good to go. Here's the next deal. Because of Facebook being down, for the mini packs, I'm going to pick all of the mini packs, all of the mini packs from the live attendees tonight because Facebook's been such an issue. Okay? Now, I see some of you that are newer that weren't here a little while ago. Let me just show you real quick because everybody's asking for the different codes. Okay? When it comes to the codes, all right, we have a couple a couple different codes. So this code right here, this one right there, that one is for, that one right there, that's for the decal sample pack. Okay? TRW YouTube 80. TRW YouTube 80. Okay? So the TRW YouTube 80, that is going to work for on the main site you have to do two separate orders okay that one's going to work for this right here so it brings that thirty dollars down to six dollars and that will be one order and then your second order is when you're going to use the coupon code right over there this right down here the trw release 65 and the new pack for that one is the business sign pack right here that comes with the storefront window mock-up as well okay so that one there and if you didn't see that you can go back and watch this youtube live after we sign off and you'll see it and just to let you guys know as soon as we sign off here i'm not going to stay on after and answer a lot of questions because i still have to do my ask matt tonight so I'm going to pop on Ask Matt, the Matt Vassallo YouTube channel as soon as we sign off here to answer questions, okay? If you're not on the Matt Vassallo channel yet, make sure you head there, okay? Right after we do the giveaways, we're going to go to the Matt Vassallo channel for all of the Q&A. So, this is the Matt Vassallo channel here where we go live five days a week and all the different things that we do each time, but... 
Business Sign Live Template Pack. The $35 turns to $12.25. The $30 Sample Pack goes to $6. Bucks. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We got three mini pack giveaways. And then we also, we also have activated the, let's see if we have it here. Where did I put that thing? It's in here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, there's the boom factory. Let's go file import. So all of you know, it's only, only through tonight and tomorrow. Every roll of magic flock that is ordered, you get a free 50 gross of crystal rhinestones. Okay? Only magic flock that is ordered tonight and tomorrow. Okay? There's no coupon codes necessary. There's no nothing. The warehouse is just going to know... They ordered Magic Flock, they get a free 50 gross of stones. Easy as that. Doesn't get any easier than that, right? Who doesn't want a free 50 gross of stones? You're saving. Sometimes we do like a 10% discount on Magic Flock. Just to let you know, that saves you $6.50. This saves you $23.80. Which one's a better deal? We've never done it, okay? Let's do some giveaways. I got to grab my questions. Bring them down here. Let's rock and roll. So, we have three mini pack giveaways. Here we go. Our first mini pack giveaway, I'm going to pick from the live comments in five. Um, it is Sharon for each roll, or Daniel for each roll. So just to let you guys know, if you bought two rolls of Magic Flock, you'll get two 25 grosses of Crystal Stones. If you bought three rolls, you'll get three 25 grosses. So then it saves you almost $70. Here we go. First mini pack giveaway is for this person right here. 4-A-L-F-K-J. I have no clue who that is, but 4 a L F K J. You got yourself a mini pack of choice. So shoot us an email info at the rhinestoneworld.com. You got yourself a mini pack of choice. If you want the one tonight, email us and tell them that's the one you want. Mini pack is yours. Congrats. Thanks for being here. So that's our first winner. Let's pick our second winner. Our second winner is going to be in five, four, three, two, one. And the second winner is this person right here. Erica Peterson. I saw you. Where'd you go? Erica Peterson. Erica Peterson. Congratulations, Erica. You are the winner of the second mini pack of choice. I got to write your names down so I can get them to the call center. Erica Peterson, congratulations. Mini pack of choice is yours. Shoot us an email, info at rhinestoneworld.com. You got yourself a mini pack of choice. Now, our third and final mini pack of choice for tonight's live, and then I'll go on the Matt Vasallo channel right after this to answer questions, is going to be five, four, three, two, one, stop. Claire Gugino? I don't know, I pronounced it wrong, Claire, but you're happy because you won a mini pack, right? Claire, congratulations. You are the winner of the third mini pack of choice. Claire, congratulations. Mini pack of choice is yours. Shoot us an email, info at rhinestoneworld.com. Let us know whatever out of the 150 mini... Just to let you guys know, okay? Just to show you, when we say mini packs, it's not like you get to select like two... 
from two or three different things. When you go to artwork packs and you browse by mini packs, we have 143 different mini packs now. It's pretty insane. Like our nurse pack and our DNA pack and our anim- remember the animal peak pack, the dogs? Those are all part of the mini pack. So you can just go to view all. Here's what I would recommend if I were you. You're getting a free one. Don't get a $35 one. Get a $65 one. Get the most expensive one. It's free. Right? So all of those little dogs, all the birthday packs, all the my favorite athletes. Like you choose whichever one you want. Pretty sweet. Right? So, the mini pack with the animals is the animal peak pack. And let me show you where one of those are. Let me scroll through here. And so, here's one of them here. So, see all of these here? The dog peak pack, the animal peak pack. So, this is dog peak mini pack three. So, like, for example, this one right here has the Golden Retriever and the Lab and the Schnauzer. And so, again, the TRW Release 65 works on this as well. So, you'll get 65% off it. All right, crew. I'm headed over to the Matt Vassallo channel on YouTube. If you're not on that channel yet, Make sure to head over. If you don't get the alerts, click the little bell right here so you get the alerts. I'm going to head over there. It's going to be an open Q&A tonight. Any questions you have, I will answer them. Matt Vassallo YouTube channel. Give me five minutes and I will be there. All right? But thank you for watching, guys. Sorry about Instagram and Facebook. But remember, roll of Magic Flock. You buy Magic Flock tonight or tomorrow. You get a free 50 gross of crystal stones with any purchase of Magic Flock today or tomorrow. And it will end tomorrow. Hopefully you learned some things about some vinyl car decals. They are awesome. You have to do it. It's going to help your business. You're going to make money. Hopefully you picked up a couple tips and tricks tonight that will help your business. That's the whole goal of this is to help you. So thank you guys. Have an amazing night. And I will see you guys in about five minutes on the Matt Vassalo channel. All right. Later. What's up, Facebook? Later.